Hi, I'm Laura Till, Field Doctors Registered Dietitian, and in this short video, I'm going to be talking about what other approaches you can consider to help manage RDS outside of diet. It's true that changing your diet can be an incredibly effective way to managing RDS symptoms, but this doesn't work for everybody and it's not the only approach you can take to help manage your symptoms and live more comfortably. Here are three other approaches you can try. Number one, exercise. So several studies have found that exercise can actually help to ease IBS symptoms. The key is to stick with low to moderate intensity exercise. Think walking, jogging, swimming, cycling. This is because intense or really hard workouts can actually have the opposite effect and aggravate symptoms. Most studies which have found a beneficial effect have looked at including 30 minutes of moderate intensity enjoyable exercise most days of the week. Step two, take time to rest and recharge. Stress is associated with a worsening of symptoms and lots of people with IBS tell me that their symptoms get worse when they're stressed, anxious or worried. If this sounds familiar, it's really important to create space for rest, relaxation and good sleep. Activities that help you relax will be individual to you, but several studies have found that yoga and mindfulness practice can help to ease symptoms, probably because they are one way to help us manage stress and anxiety. Number three, gut-directed hypnotherapy. Gut-directed hypnotherapy is a form of hypnotherapy that targets the two-way communication between your brain and your gut. Some studies have found that gut-directed hypnotherapy can be as effective as a low FODMAP diet in easing symptoms. Sessions are typically delivered over six to 12 weeks by a specially trained hypnotherapist. For more details on how to access this type of therapy, see the caption.